Hey guys, hope everyone is doing well. So today I'm gonna take you along how I automate an ICT strategy. I'm gonna show you the trading plan, the results. I stumbled across this strategy a while ago and I did see the results. People were posting the results. And now I'm just thinking, okay, let's take some time to automate it and then share those results with you guys. See how the strategy works. We're gonna dive into the trading plan, made a trader, how the back tests look and also how it performs in the live market. So with that said, I'm quickly gonna show you the trading plan. I just written it down. It is take out the Asian liquidity, look for an order block reversal during a London session. So a little bit of time is added to it. So you want to see something happen, but it needs to be in a time frame, right? And then stop loss is protected by the high and low. And then the target is placed at the mid session price. So we have the Asian high, the Asian low, and I'm gonna dive into trading view later on it. Um, but if one is sweeped, if liquidity is taken out during a time session, then we're gonna look for setups and it's all in the one minute time frame. And I'm just gonna automate it and then see, okay, does it work on the charts? And then just take Euro dollar as um, the most easy pair to start off with. So. I'm gonna dive into it. If it works out, I check in tomorrow and then I'll show you everything I did and what the results are. Hey guys, so I took the time yesterday to automate this strategy. Instead of one target, I decided to have two targets. So slight changes, um, but the targets are now bigger. I close half at the mid price and the other half at the Asian high. If I have a long, of course, if you have a short, you close it at the Asian low, but I will dive into one live setup right now so we can analyze it together you know how the trading plan works and then i'm moving to the automation side to share results how it works um, how the trade is taken and just a reason to automate things right and let's dive first in asian low and asian high and mid price collection because those are three values that you need before you can look for any setup right so finding the asian low is rather easy you just look at the times and then after 12, you can see, okay, this was the lowest low during the Asian session. And this was the highest high during the Asian session. And you just plot that with a ray like this tool here, right? Second thing I need to do is to draw a FIP retracement or just measure like where is the midline, where is 50% like the middle of this range, because remember that was my first target. So I plotted the line there and that will be my first target. What am I looking at? Well, I told you we are looking for a move through one of the two lines. So in this case, this example shows an Asian low is broken. And then we want to see an order block. So if I zoom in, you can see these two imbalances then engulfing. And then if it comes back to it, I want to enter the position with a target at the mid price and a stop below this low. And the second thing, the second target I want is here at the Asian high. So like I said, if you are looking for a breakout through the Asian high, then of course your target is the Asian low, but this is a long, so this long we target this point. So that is more or less the whole setup. We now know, okay, this is what I'm looking at. Now I have to automate that. So that I did that yesterday, promising results. However, one note I want to give before we dive into MetaTrader, what you can see here, the pip sizes are very tiny. And that is one like turnoff in my opinion for a strategy like this that I re don't really believe like the results people are getting with this strategy, or at least the community members are sharing. Well, not the members, but the owners, right? And with those results with a small stop loss like if you have a three pip stop loss if your entry is half a pip different your risk to reward model is totally skewed right so i find it hard to believe i've not seen a track record but with the back test and trading view it looks good so when i see that i'm open-minded i just want to see okay what is the data telling me and therefore i also opened a live account to take these trades automatically to just see if the entries are accurate, if the entries are really good enough to have that action in markets to really take these trades, because it can look on trading view very good, but if you then execute your setups, it might get you different results. And that is just because the spreads and commissions, if you take trades with a three pip stop loss, right? So if you're new, that is just a warning sign for you. With that all covered, let's dive into MetaTrader.
So this is Mater Trader. What I did is upload this EA. If you want to have this EA, this algorithm for yourself to test around with, join the Telegram below. I will share this EA in the near future there for free so you can get it. With that all done, let's cover the setup. So what we are looking at is of course, the algorithm needs to take that same setup. And there you go. So what do we have? We have the, the high here, the green line, and we have the low here, the red line. And then we have this strong move to the downside, remember, and then the order block creation and two buys. So why do we have two buys? Well, we want to have a buy that closes the position here at the mid price. And you can see just with your eyes, we are not really closing at the mid price, right? Slightly lower. So a little bit of a less risk to reward. And that is that, that spread, right? You don't get exactly that best price. And then the second goal, the second position that is still open should close around this high. Yeah. So let's go there. And now um, there you go. You have this second buy that reached target as well, close slightly below that line. Two amazing setups. Uh, Graph is of course looking very good, nicely uh, taken. And what I'm now doing is like, why do I automate strategies? First of all, I don't want to be stuck behind the charts all day. Um, I don't want to miss setups because if you have like 10 opportunities that are very good in a week, then you want to take all 10, right? But what you see uh, happen for a lot of people is during work, studying or whatever you're doing during the day, you miss those setups. You miss a few of those setups and those are maybe these big winners, right? So that is why I automate it to make it easier. But also, and that's why I create this video, is to show you that there is data you need to prove if a strategy really works or not. And that is the little bit of research you have to do. After you've done that research and you have a strategy that works, the back tests are good, you can test like hundreds of these trades automatically right to see okay this really works these are the returns i can expect this is what i want to do and it doesn't really matter if you're trading ict concepts like this or smc supply and demand support and resistance what we do is use a no coding software and with that software everyone can automate right i'm not a coder myself but i have automated thousands of eas and i love to do it because you find good systems sometimes that are like this and it just makes your life a lot easier. It gets your results way faster in the markets because you're consistent, right? The, there are no errors or no mistakes an algorithm makes. It just sees a setup, looks at the trading plan and executes. And that's why I love it. So in the next episode, I'm gonna dive into the results about this overall strategy. How does it perform? If you have questions, comment below, subscribe below if you want to see that next video and join the Telegram chat as well if you are keen to have this system and all the other value we bring. Yeah, with that said, see you in the next episode.